Hello there. I hope you are well. Recently, I came across this relatively new microcontroller, AT Tiny thirty two one seven from Microchips. Traditionally, AT Tiny family has low in memory,、uh, both in flash and RAM, as well as low pin counts.、Uh, this is not the case for AT Tiny thirty two one seven. It is a twenty four pin MCU with thirty two k flash memory. And is one of the highest in terms of memory and the pin count within the new、uh, Tiny AVR One series MCUs. The Tiny Thirty Two One Seven offer the same amount of flash memory and SRAM as Mega Three Twenty Eight. There are twenty two programmable I/O pins versus twenty three in Mega Three Twenty Eight. Uh, both MCU have the same hardware, UR, SPI, and I squared C port. The Tiny Thirty Two One Seven is also more flexible, as all the twenty two I O pins can be configured as ADC, or PWM, and interrupt pins. Then the limited and the restricted pins are Mega Three Twenty Eight. There are several notice、uh, notable features that are not available in Mega Three today. The only package available for AT Tiny Thirty Two One Seven is is in twenty four pin QFN. So you almost always has to use some sort of、uh, breakout board if you want to play with it. So I create the schematic and do the PCB layout to create a fully functional. Development board. The result is a tiny breadboard-friendly PCB of only thirty-four point six times eleven, uh, nineteen point three mm in size. When everything looks okay, I place the order for producing the PCB. I ordered ten pieces of PCB, but much more components, as many components have a、uh, MOQ of fifty. It is a little bit unreal to hold an Arduino compatible board designed by myself. In order to use the AT Tiny Thirty Two One Seven development board as an Arduino, we will need an Arduino Core software. Spencer Conte has done a great job for developing Mega Tiny Core、uh, that support Tiny AVR series. Including AT Tiny Thirty Two One Seven. Follow the installation instructions on Spencer Condex GitHub to add the Bot Manager JSON file to the AVR IDR IDE、uh, preference. Next. Click on two board board manager and search for Mega Tiny Core, and click on install to install it. Go to two board pull down menu to select the AT Tiny Thirty Two One Seven board. Double check to make sure that it has the correct chips and port selected, and set the programmer as J. Uh, JTAG to UP UPDI. The JTAG to UPDI is a project originated from El Tangus that turned an Arduino Nano into a UP UPDI programmer. I use the folk version from Spencer Conde, as it seems to be further optimized and more up to date. To turn the A,、uh, an Arduino Nano into a UPDI programmer is very easy. Download the firmware from Spencer Condex JTAG to UPDI GitHub and double click the Arduino sketch to open it in IDE. The sketch itself is empty, but you will see all the necessary files、uh, need to be compiled in different tabs. Click on the Upload button. And、uh, on top of the Arduino IDE to upload the the firmware, 
to the Arduino Nano. To connect the UPDI programmer, which is uh, an Arduino Nano, to 80 tiny 3217 board, you will need a 4.7K uh, resistor and a 10 microfarad capacitors. The red power AED indicates that there is no short circuit or anything like that. So far, so good. There is an onboard blue LED that is connected to the pin PA7. We'll write a blinking LED sketch to test it. Allo is quite fast, and there is an AVR2 error message at the end of the fresh status screen. But that seems to be okay, as the blue LED already start blinking. Before I start my project, I did my research to see if there any similar project based on ATtiny 3217. And I found two different uh, boards selling on Tindy.com, uh, including the one uh, produced by Spence Kondek, uh, who is the creator of the Mega Tiny Core, and another one by Leo Nerd. I also found a video on YouTube from Dustin Watts talking about his design. There is also a design done by Albert Van Dalen. I actually changed part of my auto reset circuits uh, after seeing his implementations. There are much more to explore for this new and much modern AVR chips. I feel strongly that it is time to move on from the old 80 Mega 320A that was released two decades ago and replace it with a modern AVR series, uh, as it is not only more flexible, but actually cheaper. By the way, since I have ordered more components than I need for my personal usage, I intend to sell 80 tiny uh, 3217 base Arduino compatible board in near future. Once I sorted out all the logistics, Thank you for watching.